Hey everyone, uh, Chris here. Uh, here in my bathroom tonight doing my first uh, shave video. I uh, just want to give a shout out to some of the guys over at Razor and Brush. Uh, it's a really great online community and um, everyone there has been very, very nice and helpful. Uh, especially, you know, CDB and Busta and all those guys. You guys are great. And you're the, kind of the reason I'm making these videos. Um, you kind of inspired me to do it because if your ugly mugs can be on there, so can mine, right? So. Um, I'm just going to go into the shave that I've got going today. Um, first of all, um, just got out of the shower, had a nice hot shower. Uh, this is something I use every time I shave. Uh, this is a pre-shave oil I made here at home. Uh, it is one half olive oil to one half castor oil with a couple of drops of lavender in it. Uh, if you want to make it at home, it's very, very cheap. If you like your oil a little bit more on the liquidy runny side, uh, add a little bit more olive oil if you like it more on the thick side go ahead and add some more castor oil um, but just a couple drops of essential oil will do you um, I got out of the shower I put that on directly and then I uh, I get started with my shave uh, tonight I'm going to be using my favorite go-to product um, my favorite all-around product has been Mitchell's wool fat but the one that I use uh, very very frequently is Razor Rock Z Pepino um, it's got a wonderful scent. Uh, it's got a kind of a talc, um, tobacco flower kind of scent. Not very overpowering. It's just right. And I love that about it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I've got the uh, Simpson Duke 2 and Best Badger. That's what we're going to be using tonight. And I go ahead and lather in a bowl. So we're going to go ahead and get started and lather up here. You really don't have to do much. Give it some swirling to get those hairs lifted up, and then go straight into a painting motion. And there you go, nice and thick. Um, the uh, razor I'm going to use is my uh, Icon Shavecraft. Uh, I have been kind of partial to using feather blades and have been for quite a while here, uh, but Michael, uh, I'm going to say it wrong, it's Torgiano or something like that, sent me these uh, Voskhod blades uh, from Russia, and I really learned to enjoy those a little bit. Very cheap and very mild, um, whereas usually on the first uh, go around with uh, feathers, I usually get some irritation on my neck, but I haven't gotten that so with the uh with the russians there so we're going to go ahead and get started and i'm going to go ahead and do a north south pass here and kind of bloat my cheek a little bit in order to kind of make that skin taut and for those of you wondering uh, if you have a shave craft at home um, I am using the uh, closed comb side first. The uh, glide that you get when you use the pre-shave oil and the razor rock is amazing. There we go. First pass is done. Feeling pretty good there. We'll go ahead, get a rinse really quick, and uh, apply for our second pass here. Now I kind of switch up these last two passes. Um, my neck is particularly sensitive to. Uh, to what would normally be called across the grain. Um, so I end up doing upward strokes on my neck in order to get the hair reduced. And then I will do my side passes on my neck 
last. And it's just the opposite with my cheeks. Um, my cheeks, they like to, um, I like to go side on those first and then go across, or I'm sorry, against the grain last. So we're gonna go against the grain. This time I, I kind of switched up a little bit. I like to use the clothes comb for this pass here to get the most off so that uh, the blade is catching less hair uh, on subsequent pass, on the subsequent pass uh, and making it uh, be irritated. So we'll go ahead and do a side. Go side across from those. Be just my luck, I usually have no problem, but this will be the point in which I accidentally mortally wound myself the time I decide to do a video. And you'll notice kind of the rake, how it leaves more cream there, that's kind of on purpose. It's that way by design so that you can kind of buff over a little bit, do some blade buffing. Okay, so that's across my face. Now let's go up the neck. Really short and very light strokes. Now I'm trying not to rush, just because I've got video rolling, but this could go to show you, um, some guys tend to think that doing traditional wet shaving is going to take you forever in the day, and uh, you know, we're at seven minutes and I'm almost done with my shave, so it's not that bad. Let's rinse the face up a little bit. Let's go ahead and lather up for the last pass, and you'll notice I still got quite a bit of that razor rock there. Gives you a nice ample amount of lather. And the smell is incredible. I knew as soon as I picked some up from Maggard's I was gonna love it. I wish I had something to describe it against, but I'm not really a frag head. So I couldn't tell you what other stuff it smells like. my understanding it smells a little bit like tobacco. Um, I however do not have tobacco yet. I have some on the way right now actually. Um, so we shall see. Uh, but at either rate for how much I pay for Razor Rock, I guess I don't know why I bought the tobacco to be honest with you. But um, you know I hear great things about it so we'll see. Okay so across the grain on the neck, or I'm sorry well, this would be against the grain on my neck, we're gonna do I'm gonna do side passes with the open comb. And just very, very short light strokes. And I like to get under my chin like that, but like I'm gonna raise her a rinse. Turn good on the neck. Baby butt smooth there. Let's go against the grain on my cheeks, the sideburns. Under the nose, against the grain is inevitably where I have trouble. I think everybody has trouble.
Under the nose is good. Now, underneath the chin. I have these two little weird patches on my cheeks. That I kind of have to do a quick once over on from a couple different directions and we get them. Okay. So, now that we're all set there, let's go ahead and rinse my face off. Everything's feeling pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and rinse off. So now that we've got that done, it's time to use what I consider a very indispensable piece of equipment for any uh, new traditional wet shaver, and that is an Allen block. Um, some guys use them, some guys don't. Just a piece of potassium alum. Uh, this will seal your face after the shave and protect it. But the other thing it's going to do is it's going to give you really vital feedback. Let you know if it stings right here, you know you got a little too close. Maybe the pass you did wasn't good for your face. So what you do is you just take this block, run it under cold water. And take it and just go ahead and go over your face with it. Oh yeah, those, those Voskhod blades are working really, really well for me. Typically I would have felt some stinging on my neck and under my nose, but I don't have that. Okay. We'll let that stand for a few seconds and then we get to my new favorite part and that's the post shave. Um, really kind of rounds it out. And two great products that I'm going to talk about here in just a second are up on the hopper. And um, we're gonna go ahead and rinse my face one more time to get that alum off. You don't wanna leave it standing because it will dry your face out a little bit. So you just kinda of wanna rinse it really quick. Okay, pat dry the face. Now, I have to talk about this because I love it. And uh, a friend of mine, he's still waiting on his. It was left at the post office for two days and he had no idea it was there. Um, Fine American Blend Aftershave Splash. Uh, this stuff is made by Fine Accoutrements. Uh, you can find it on Etsy. Um, you can get it on Italian Barber. There's a couple other sites you can get it on. This stuff is awesome. I was never really a splash guy. Um, I really liked balms. But this stuff is incredible. Uh, it's somewhere between a Brute and Old Spice, but with like a touch of, of class. It just smells very very unique but very familiar um, and I I really love it. it's probably one of my favorite things that I have in my den um, and it's just an incredible performer so we'll go ahead and put some of that on okay now this thing only has a couple things in it um, it has alcohol, water, fragrance, and menthol. Menthol cools the face. That alcohol will disinfect a little bit. But the other thing it's going to do is it's going to dry down. And the scent profile after it dries down is completely different um, than when you put it on. Okay? It's going to dry down and it's going to mellow out a little bit. Uh, once it dries down, um, it's time to, you're, you're either done, or if you're somebody who wants to do a little bit more post uh, to keep your face nice and hydrated and protected, you can go ahead and add a balm over it. Uh, now, I particularly was not a fan of the idea of trying to kill off the scent that I got out of this uh, out of this uh, fine accoutrement stuff. Um, so I wanted to find a uh, an unscented balm that worked really well for me. Uh, it just so happened that I had bought a um, Simpson Chubby Two synthetic brush. And Simpson was nice enough to send me one of these. It was an aftershave balm that is unscented. And it just kind of fell right into place that I was looking for one, and there it was. Uh, so I use this stuff. Uh, it's just a small little dollop in your hand. You know, like that. 
Go ahead and stick that in. And that will seal in the scent of the aftershave and protect your face. Um, so that's it tonight, gents. Uh, everything turned out really well. Uh, thank you again to the guys over at Razor and Brush. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, Joe over at Italian Barber, almost all the stuff I caught, um, I got from him. Uh, Razor Rock cannot recommend that stuff enough. Uh, the bang for your buck that you get out of that product or any of his line of products is really incredible. Uh, and it was a great shave tonight. I'm feeling good and I'm feeling human and I'm feeling ready for tomorrow morning. So thank you very much, guys. Have a good night.